Muslims all over the world, at least once in their lifetimes, travel to Mecca and participate in the annual pilgrimage on the 9th and 10th of Zil Hajj, the Islamic lunar calendar. This event celebrates Prophet Abraham's dedication to God by displaying his readiness to sacrifice even his son Ishmael. God commanded him through revelation that it was not literally expected of him to sacrifice his dearest son, but God expected sacrifice through dedication to spread the message of oneness of God. Outside Mecca, elsewhere, around the world, Eid al-Adha is celebrated on Hajj Day, which is a festival simply meaning Feast of Sacrifice. The festival marks the day when animals are sacrificed and their meat is distributed equally amongst the poorest of society, friends and neighbours, and also consumed in feasts by our own families. The Muslim begin this day with congregational prayers, followed by sermon and then the sacrifice. All Muslim celebrations have charity as their prime objective, and thus, distribution of meat to poor and underprivileged is considered compulsory. The largest gathering of Eid was held at Bayt al-Huda Mosque, Sydney, attended by 2,500 Ahmadis. Chaudhry Khalid Saifullah Khan, acting Emir of Australia, led the Eid prayers. He told in his sermon that this festival has a history of 4,000 years. One of the characters of Prophet Abraham was being Halim. Halim means a patient, a tolerant, and a soft-spoken person. This character represents Promised Messiah Alayhi Salam too, who is called Abraham as well. We all Ahmadis must show the character of Halim in ourselves during this time of heightened security. May Allah bestow the blessings of this day on all of us. Munib Sonori, MTA Studios, Australia.